Hello everybody and welcome to a luxury shoe haul. Now I did film this video a couple of days ago um, but I just got in from traveling. I was a mess, the setup was a mess because it was so dark. Um, so there may be some cutaways in there but I just decided I'd refilm. But I'm gonna get started straight away um, and I'm going to work up from probably the cheapest um, just to give us some sense of order. All right, so the first pair is a pair I already own. Um, and these are the Tommy Hilfiger boots. So I originally purchased these boots um, probably about a year ago now. Of heeled boots, however, being a bit like a stick figure. <laughs> um, I have very skinny calves and ankles and a lot of times boots can just not look very good on me, uh, to say the least. They became my everyday shoe, really. Perhaps January of this year, these went on sale. So I picked them up for £80 and they've, until I unboxed them properly the other day, um, they've been sat in a box. I purchased another pair um, because I thought with them being not overly expensive, these are £130, I thought heels going to pop off or something uh, like that but no mine is still going strong um they're a little a little grotty <laughs> because i honestly use them everywhere last season or last year um there was this style um i'll put the i'll insert the close-up here the monogram um, there, with the subtle very monogram subtle. which was my favorite or there was another style with the huge um tommy logo i evidently opted for these um because I just prefer the more subtle look. I'm pretty sure you could possibly get both of those styles especially the other ones. Um I know you can get them brand new um on um Depop etc uh for really really cheap as well. You'd have to hunt around for these if I can find any I'll link them below but this uh year's version um is incredibly similar the only detail being really you know it's the same material same heel height same shape um just you don't have the monogramming here and there's a tiny little logo i really wanted to share these because they are so very comfortable now don't get me wrong plus five six hours of like continuously walking like shopping or something like that i can start to get slight blisters or they do hurt but i think walking for so long anywho regardless of the shoe you run the risk of that happening but really these are so incredibly comfortable i really really recommend them hence why i wanted to share this year's version these if you can get your hands on them and so yes my tommy hilfiger boots okay so this next pair don't be alarmed when I initially show you because there's many different colorways. Because when I first saw uh, these shoes, it was on an Instagram ad and I thought, oh gosh, there are a lot. Um, they kept playing on my mind um, and I ended up going into store, trying them on. If you saw my shoe shopping video, you'll possibly be able to guess which pair these are. And they are the Kurt Geiger Piera sandal. They're really warm to the, the colourways of them. They're a lot. <laughs> um, I'm surprised I really went for them. I think they can be borderline tacky in my opinion. Sometimes I look at them and think, ooh, well, you know, with the crystal um, detailing there. But they do many different variations of this sandal they do them in a pastel color which i looked at in person and wasn't really a fan of um a fabric version which i know some celebrities have been seen in um they do a platform version a high leg gladiator version really any variation of this sandal so i'm sure there'll be something for almost everybody so back to these pros and cons i'm going to start with the pros uh because i also have a tale to tell with these shoes so a big pro for me is um i'm starting to think i may have particularly skinny uh feet and these shoes from the top ankle portion here um to every one of these straps are all fully adjustable every single one um so if you have particularly skinny feet normal you'll be fine even perhaps wider feet you can tailor the shoe to you incredibly comfortable i haven't been out in them yet however i've walked around my house quite a bit in them not an overly high heel the boots i just showed you a moment ago i believe are 85 millimeters uh these are i think about 90 95 not overly high to begin with um but even if that is for you a little high or it's 
about your Maximum, they're very comfortable. You feel very secure in them. Now I got these because um, I was going out with the girls and I tend to wear my boots, but there are occasions where I need a sandal. And when I'm going out clubbing, <laughs> I don't want to wear a pair of Jimmy Choo's and I, I, not exclusively, but like 95% of my um, shoes are luxury shoes, simply because I think it makes life easier having them comfortable, this, that and the other. Some places I, I don't want to wear um, my really expensive shoes, uh, especially to some grotty places. So I picked these up um, from a shoe brand um, to hopefully comfortable, wear well, though, I'll get onto that in a moment. Um, and they're a little fun for me. This colourway usually wouldn't be my cup of tea. I'd say it's quite out there. Um, it's a real statement shoe. I look forward to styling it up. One way the lady in the store recommended is um, with jeans. So if you're going to go for like a brunch or something and want jeans and a nice top and then a sandal. Cons. Um, so I originally ordered these shoes on Next. They arrived. And whilst inspecting them, I noticed it wasn't uh, muck where I could just rub it off. Um, the sort of foil, which is which goes around uh, the pink area and the heel on the back, um, had been damaged. Um, so it had rubbed off really, and it looked a mess. Um, so I sent them back. I got the second pair. Um, they were the complete wrong shoe. Uh, they were some, and I'm not to be a judger here, but they were the tackiest. They reminded me of my 13 year old bridesmaid shoes from like Debenhams, which uh, it's that tacky silver uh, material with like glue hanging out. So they were those shoes. Um, don't recommend those, that is what you're after. Um, would avoid because <laughs> they looked a hot mess. With these, however, oh, I've just seen some more. Oh no, okay. Um, so I sent those back. With these, there's no glue or anything like that. They do feel relatively well made. Again, they're not luxury, luxury shoes. Um, though, again, luxury is subjective, but um, they're not incredibly high-end shoes. Um, yeah, whilst unboxing these yesterday, they had been in the box in my floor. They're not packaged well. You do get um, some more crystals in case these popped out and uh, another spare heel here. Um, but they'd been on my floor, they'd have been kicked, this and the other. And so, whilst this third pair arrived with very minimal marks, I thought, gosh, evidently they're going to get like it anyway. Um, what's a few marks? Um, looking the other day and today, there's a lot more. <laughs> I insert it here. Yes, I'm interested, said Lise, to see how these will wear. I suspect you have to be very careful, otherwise the foil on here is going to come straight off. But if you are interested in these shoes and you want to know how, they're, how they've worn, um, drop me a comment down below. I don't see myself wearing these in the next week or so, but if I do, just leave a comment. And when I do wear them, um, I'll reply to you, letting you know how I have gone on. Uh, with that little situation. For reference, one of my feet, and they've been recently measured, is a four and a half, the other one is a 4.75. Um, I take a four in the Tommy boots and I've gone with a four in these shoes as well. And these, I can't remember what if I said, but they um, go for about 150 pounds. But with these and the Tommy boots, because they're stocked in, in high street retailers, you can probably grab a discount code. I'm not sure if anyone will have seen my wishlist video of which uh, this pair was on my autumn wishlist for this year. And no, sadly, it isn't my beloved Sophia Webster Chiara in the multicolour. Um, I've done a little bit of shopping recently, a little too much shopping, so um, they may have to be a birthday present or a Christmas present. I did get the Giuseppe Zanotti, Zanotti, however you want to um, pronounce it, Katia heel. Now I picked these up um, from a Polish, it's like the Polish Harrods or Selfridges, no Harrods because I really do stand alone store, um, Vitkek, 
Ubitech, something like that. Mm. They sell on Farfetch. Uh, and these, I believe, retail for something like £600. On Farfetch, you can get them for like three, four, five. You know, it's dynamic pricing on there. Um, I'm kind of glad I refilmed this video in that when I first unboxed these, I was like, ooh, okay, cute, loving. And I turned to the back and they have no back, which sort of put me in a bad mood filming the video the other day. And I'm going to be quite rude here. What idiot <laughs> put the tags on both shoes here? Because you cannot walk in them to try them on, I'll show you, but this tag has blood on it um, from where I've been walking and it's cut my foot. I almost tripped down the stairs. <laughs> these are hazards. So I haven't been able to properly try these on. <laughs> I've considered sellotaping it to my foot. Um, I put a bobble around um, to sort of keep this bit up to try and walk in them. That was the best uh, way I could think to try them on. But there is no back, so my foot is like hanging out of the shoe. But I can't even walk properly to try them on since there's a dangling sodding tag. <laughs> Hi, by the way. Yeah, I love the colour of these. I love um, the style of them also. Uh, I wanted more of a strappy sandal um, because these were going to go with many winter looks and birthday looks that I dreamed up. Um, I'm obsessed with the colour, but I, I'm, I don't like strappy sandals, which are too, too exposed. There's just a lot happening. Um, I know my friends, they wear them and they look amazing, but just for me, I'd feel very vulnerable. <laughs> um, um, so these are a strappy sandal, but you know, you have the two little straps down there. I haven't obviously worn them properly yet, but they do seem to be very comfortable. I think it's like a hundred, 105 mil heel. So again, not too high. Around where I like to sit for, you know, comfortable heels. There is also, and again, I'm gonna have to do a close up, in the middle section here, it's slightly raised, slightly padded, which just makes them incredibly comfortable. So if you're looking for a cute strappy sandal, um, very comfortable at the moment, so far I'd recommend these. These are my first pair of Giuseppe Zanotti's Zanotti. Um, so I'm intrigued to see how I will go on with them. Picked up these in a five. I could have possibly gotten away with a four and a half. I think you definitely don't want to get a size that is going to be too, too large um, because there is no back and you then run that risk of your foot just slipping out. I mean, <laughs> during filming that video, I hadn't put these on tight properly and um, I could literally peel my foot straight out of the shoe. So yeah, that was my luxury shoe haul. In quite the shoe mood this year. Perhaps, hopefully, maybe, might get those Sophia Webster's, but that is going to then be it for me for a while. Um, I feel lucky at the moment, I have a pair of shoes that cover every category, uh, which I'm quite happy about, so I'm quite content at the moment. Um, so yeah, that was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, I've not done this before, but if you could give it a like, that'd be great. Um, because I think it helps share. Um, I mainly do this because I like rambling and showing you guys as if I show my friends my new shoes. And they're also the videos I love to watch. So I hope um, you enjoyed. Uh, and yeah, I will see you on my next video, whatever that may be. Goodbye.